Hello everyone, it is time for yet another ITSL game, and uh, I've already got three more games to play now, so we're closely reached, uh, we're, we are fastly reaching the end of um, of this of this season. And right now, um, the blue section of my division uh, is fairly open. Sheng Wei Shin is looking very good for the top spot, but he's got quite a few games left to play. Um, and then me and uh, Wojciech are fighting over the fourth place at the moment. Um, until yesterday, we were both at 12-5 and only one point of sauce um, separating us in my favour. But then he lost a game, so now uh, if I win tonight, then I'll take a slight lead there. Uh, and tonight I'm playing Francesco Turiano, and uh, we've... Uh, I'm playing the USSR, he's playing the US, so let's, uh, let's go. And I have to... Um, looks like a standard coup hand, Italy coup. Yeah, let's try that. And let's find my little message. I've done that in order to save time, because I'm fed up with typing it. I'm not sure if I actually save uh, any time on that. Ooh! That is not nice. That is not nice. I think... Oh, that's 5 plus now, that makes a big difference. I think we'll go with this instead. Ah. Okay. <clears throat> so, I can still space dark. I think I'll want to probably bring down Defcon to um, use decal, blockade, maybe. The Ven to draw out D Stahl, depending on if we see any of the other ones, or I might hold Blockade as well. Probably. Alright. Some big cards here from Francesco. Um, I feel like we kind of have to fill up Iraq, although... Mm, yeah, I'm going to have to do that anyway, so let's do it now. <clears throat> so yeah, I want to bring it down DEFCON, but I don't really want him to walk into Asia, and I also... Want to get some milops, milop points. Don't know. Got half a mind to coup Lebanon when it looks like that. All right, it comes to Gaul, giving me access to um, Africa, which I should probably use, but I don't really have time right now. Let's space. See if I can get those two points. No, I can't. Uh, well, if I don't bring DEFCON down, then I'm going to have to hold decal instead of 
blockade. It would kind of be a shame, but at the same time... Right, so Kuzi Rock does help me a little bit with DEFCON. Um, but I'm also worried he might have this. So, do I go for a coup with Romanian maybe in Lebanon? It's two out of three. It's a little bit too risky, I think, for Anna. Or, um, if he has Middle East scoring, that would be a big deal. Um, see if I can try and hold. I think if he has Middle East, he will play it now. Or he might try and coup again. Possibly. Or he might just walk into Asia. If he doesn't, I can obviously... I could play decol uh, and go Thailand, South Africa, Burma, Indonesia, perhaps. Mr. Big Spender. Yeah, Europe Dom. He does not go for Asia, though. I think I might do that. Um, South Africa, Burma, and I think Indonesia at this point. Gives me Asia Dom. It puts me in a good position in Asia. And lets me hold blockade. I'm not a huge fan of leaving DEFCON at 3. Or actually I am, in fact, a fan of that. Um, the problem is I still kind of have to... I don't like putting one more into Syria. That seems like a waste, but at the same time... I'd hate for him to break... Yeah, let's do it. I'd hate, I'd hate for him to break Syria, and now we can break Thailand, but I'll have to live with that. Could have gone Iraq, but no, it's too risky. I do feel like he could have gone straight into Pakistan there. Maybe he's worried about the war. Right, um, okay, Europe scoring. I get D Stahl. Um, Norad, probably. 
something to space. No way really to get rid of this apart from blockade. We have seen most of the four ops already. Yes, actually all of them with Marshall. So, and then we've seen the Gaul, Warsaw, and now D-Star, so Comic-Con Suez are left. Mm. But yeah, I don't really see myself stopping Europe here. So I might as well headline it, I guess. I mean, another headline would be Vietnam, but I don't really need it. I'd rather keep the, a red card in the deck, I think. Ha 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 ha! Beautiful! Beautiful, of course that was a possibility. Um, uh, I like that. Right, um, so, now we kind of have to bring Defcon down. Um, I want to pr protect Asia. And if he goes to Pakistan, I can take India. So let's do that. Let's coup with let's coup with Vietnam revolts. Um, maybe let's go Africa. Whoa! All right. It means he doesn't really have a coup target. Not a good one. Okay. In any case. <clears throat> I think Marshall's probably my hold card here. I don't really mind playing Marshall most of the time as the Soviets, uh, which I think is probably a mistake. Alright, Defcon is at 2. We can do a D style. Should be able to sort that out this turn. Cola, Venezuela. Um, <clears throat> I'm usually kind of fine with it if I have if I've given up Europe anyway, but I think it's a bit too early to give up Europe. We still have Suez in the draw deck or in his hand, and socialist governments. So anything can happen. Did we see CIA by the way? I think we did. Yes, we did. That's good. And here comes the war. He takes... He doesn't take anything, but he goes into Algeria. <clears throat> Setting up for a strong Middle East. Which makes me want to go... Yeah, I don't really have a lot of ops here. And I kind of like... I'd kind of like to vent Fidel. And I don't really want to give him the Korean War too early. Um, that actually kind of makes me want to give up Marshall because I need the ops. Um, let's space first. So we've done that. No, still, still no luck with that. So playing blockade now would just probably give me Suez. It's 
suppose I could all loot one more turn still. See if I can get to redraw this red scare. Of course, if he does have Suez, then I'd kind of like to to reshuffle that. Comes to scoring. Three points, and I can use the war to take South Korea. So now the question is, do we trigger Fidel? I think we do find, although I'd also really like to actually let's let's use blockade instead and just overprotect Thailand. So I'd I'd really like to um I mean if he's holding red cards now he just has to get rid of them. I'm not gonna help him with that. And he's likely to hold either Socialists or Suez. All right, with UN intervention. There we go. The UN decides to intervene in European elections. Uh, still kind of low on the ops, but uh, playable hand nonetheless. Uh, I don't really... Hmm... Mm hmm. Kind of like an Asser headline here. And what is he holding that we haven't seen yet? Oh, Middle East again? Well, that's a timely, timely Nasser. So we redo that. And. Alright, let's see. We are missing Arab Israeli war. And we are missing five year plan. And we are missing Asia scoring, of course. And East European unrest. <clears throat> so still a fair amount of ops for him. <laughs> yep. Make some good headlines. Um But AI war, well, he can deal with that. Asia scoring has to happen, so that's what we need to focus on now, I think. Um, and I need to get my Dom back, which I think I should probably do. Oh, hang on. Ooh, I need to coup. Uh, but I do want to get, get my Dom back, so if we're going to give up the coup, then at least I need to do that and head into India. So he doesn't get away with it.
I think we'll try and event blockade late-ish in this turn. Alright, going for Asia, and I'll fill up India. Let's hope he didn't redraw the wall. Truman was a redraw. Goes for the coup with Truman. Nice roll. Uh, which means I have to protect that, but also probably might be a good opportunity to do that. That was also a redraw, and he protects Panama. Um, I might. Ooh, do I want? If I want to space Formosan, Formosan is going to be fine. Don't really have to worry about it. Let's overprotect some Koreas. Actually, yes, no, it should be fine, unless he takes India or something. Uh, but I'm willing to take that risk. Fuck! Ooh, nice. Lovely. Alright, then let's event Fidel, because we have to do that anyway. Hopefully... He might give me AI war, uh, although he might also not do that. That's the other option. It does give me Asia. Okay, and then he would like to space AI war now. So what I should do... Stop him from doing that. I could event blockade... And then he'll have to throw away EEU. That is fine with him, probably. Um, doesn't really do me any good. I mean, it stops him from... But then he'll just space AO War. Um, actually, what I, th what I might do is take over Algeria. That will definitely come in handy. Breaking Cuba there. That's interesting. Okay, still pretty bad in terms of ops. Uh, but this is the only really horrible card. Um, Lone Gunman is interesting here. Uh, would be nice to know if he has any... And I also don't really have any other headlines. Blockade... I mean, does reduce his hand size, can be interesting. Now that he's in Cuba, 
kind of feel like I want to hold on to Lone Gunman because there is always the chance of a DEFCON win. Might also... Let's just try Blockade and see what happens. Alright, Grains. He steals the Korean War, which means it'll happen. If he plays it, um, he's probably fine with that. Not fine, but like, under the circumstances, Asia's been scored. Uh, he's not likely to take it back regardless. I guess then he's likely to, likely to coup Angola, which I can get back into with Portuguese. And also that lets me um, coup the Saharan states myself. It does not go for the actual... Oh, it does. Yeah, sorry. I thought that was Colombia. It was Venezuela. I win the war. How lovely. And blockade. Let's see what happens. But yeah, not for, not good for South America. And uh, it was a good roll by him. He throws away Surrey. That is interesting. It means he doesn't have a red 3 or a 4. Um... Which could be a fairly weak hand. Or he was planning to use it for ops anyway, and he didn't really care. Um, or he, he might he might hold a, a different 4-op or whatever. Um, I think probably I should... Uh, no, sorry, I need to coup Saharan States with this. Nice roll. Oh, I'm going to have to play OAS. I don't like that, so I need to fill up South America before that. This goes to space. Hmm. Okay. Why didn't he discard that to um to um to blockade rather than Usuri? I think I would have. Wing with Sadat when I have Egypt. Right. 
Um, I get the feeling he's holding Afric scoring, or he thinks I do. But I, I feel like I really need to start getting into, um... <laughs> Space is not going well. I feel like I start need to get... I feel like I need to start getting into Argentina. Um, so I'm gonna... Yeah, I thought you might. Too bad. Or I have to play OAS. Mm. Fuck, 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 fuck. Ugh. That was not good. So now the question is, do I play the China card instead of OES? I think I have to. Because we've seen your Surrey, so now I don't have to worry about that. And OES right now could be devastating. And we've also seen grains, which means I don't strictly need to hold on to the China card. For DEFCON reasons. Hey, almost. Okay, so what do I do with this? Need that. I think I need that. And I also need that. Ewan, again, but just for the op. Alright, and I can steal it back. I think I want to hang on to that for a bit. Let's see if we see Nixon. Um, CIA, I'm going to have to deal with that. It's probably my best to hand so far in terms of ops. But I'm not sure what I want to headline. Billy Brandt, I guess, since probably won't have entered anyway at some point. He gets VPs from Dark, and there's no coup. Which means I also can't play this, although Cuban could help me. He can easily remove influence. That's really not really going to do it. Um, do I have nuclear test ban? That's the last resort to get rid of it. Or I can steal the China card. So I should be okay. Um, anything I want to space? Alliance? It's a deep, well, it's only two VPs. But it would be nice to get off the ground. So, I guess I might do that. Other option is to, to grab Saudi Arabia, because that could come in, become important in the future. And also... We also have a um, Southeast Asia scoring coming up. Which I think I should prepare for. <laughs> I 
Is that the fourth time I missed that roll now? But he hasn't really spaced much either, so it's not such a big deal. And he's not doing well either. There seems to be a lot of space junk already in the atmosphere. Uh, oh, but that does mean I have to play OAS Founded. Unless I take the China card and then play it again. I really don't want to do that. Let's trigger this event. And I guess let's... Continue here. It's one of those situations where it feels like I can't really do much. Which is never a good thing. And I should ideally be getting Melops too, because he's probably going to get some at the end of this turn. I wonder if it's better to play Nuclear Test Ban for the event and get rid of CIA. Because otherwise I might be holding it for a long time. I don't really want to use the China card. Like steal the China card and then use it that way. Finland. Okay. But yep. South America certainly looks very, very bad. I should get Milops. <sighs> yeah, I might do that. Although that will let him coup, and then he'll get to coup with the CIA, or choose to, like, not, not good. But it would let me get rid of it, and not have to play OAS, although OAS is about to become pointless, actually. I think I'll wait until he has... Fill up Chile as well. Then I can play it. Let's take back the China card anyway. I'm worried that if I raise Defcon, he will be able to coup into Thailand or something like that. But without the China card, he's at least less likely to succeed. Is a point. Thank you very much. Alright. Don't think I've ever done that before. Maybe I should have waited and just <clears throat> try to get rid of it next turn instead. But then I would have, yeah, probably just played OAS. Because there weren't really any DEFCON, any cars that affect DEFCON left, I don't think. We saw Cuban, we saw How I Learned, we've seen Duck. Um, 
and grains. Missile Envy was the only one left, I think. So yeah, might have been better off just uh, waiting till next turn. <laughs> All right. He's worried about coups. Get me lop. But yeah, South America is going to be huge. And he's probably going to get it. Brush War could help me. Junta could help me. EPM, maybe. But he's so overprotected by now. It's uh, not particularly likely to work. Now the ball state is kind of swinging a little bit into in his favour as well. Uh, with South America, but also Africa, Middle East. He's had Europe for a long time, and that's extremely frustrating. And I have to give him Europe. Um, yeah... Decol, I get Kennedy, which is my most space-worthy card. I think I have to headline ABM here, because we haven't seen... But at the same time, I could give him NATO, so it's not so bad. Mm. But then what would be my headline? Perfectus is a, is a risk. <laughs> okay, try Europe again. Um, it uh, I might as well because it's not going to get any better. I can't do anything about it. Let's see if he plays defectors. Oh man, <laughs> that is amazing. That is absolutely amazing. Second time in the game. Hmm. Might as well get rid of it. Oh, it was still, it was a good call regardless, but, uh, but yeah, that is absolutely amazing. <laughs> okay, what do we do then? Um, let's hold on to this for now. Yeah, that is absolutely huge. If he had gotten both of those, he would have been at 8 and then 18 with South America. That's, yeah, it's not good. Right, I think we saw special again, so let's let's trigger NATO. It doesn't really though I might hold on to it for five year, for missile envy purposes, I guess. Let's see if we can get into Venezuela or at least reduce it. Yeah, a little bit. I think I'll just have to live with John Paul. There goes Nixon. Get to hold the China card for now. Oh, I forgot about that, actually. What? <laughs> it's completely unreasonable. Okay. Um, um, although with plus, plus two, it's not completely unreasonable to get rid of it. It's just that it happened in a strange way. Um, let's try and get into South America. I Although I do think that if he had, I think I'm happy to trigger the Pope here. If he had, I think he has Central, because that's why he's, why he's focusing on that. So I kind of need to, um, well, 
Or it's just because he had a shot at, at a real line, I suppose. Uh, but I need to be there, regardless. Ideally, I should hold on to Kennedy. Um, but then, yeah, OAS might not really be important. After all. He's going for Cuba. He's going for control. Interesting. Okay. Um, then I feel like I have to try and do this before he... Reinforces it further. Alright, we're in South America. Things are looking up. Oh, he's got brush war, hasn't he? Probably. That's why he's not worried about it. Then what would he have done if he was worried about it? I think he's focused on Central. But yeah, 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 definitely. Please, please fail. Please fail. Oh, of course not. Fuck. All right, that's probably it for South America. I'm not going to be able to get in there after that. It does give me a shot at Cuba, though. Well, we have we still haven't seen Junta, so that could save me. Okay, well, three points for him. Um, question is, do I hold on to Kennedy? Yes, I do. For now, I could space in like AR seven or six, but I, mm, I can't. I would like to save it for. Could he be holding Southeast Asia too? Because he was kind of quick with Central there. He didn't really try to go for domination by going to Mexico or anything like that. No, I think I'll... Sp I could space in AR7. I could also play OAS. Yes, I think I will do that. Doesn't really. Although, giving him that last influence into Chile, but he could just take it himself. It's not making it going to make any difference. And there's always Allende. Could help me if the timing is right and if I get the scoring, perhaps. Yeah, I thought he might be holding something and it wasn't South America. Nice, beautiful. Six points from that. It's not bad. Okay, um, then let's trigger this. See where he goes. Imagine he will fill up Chile. I think we'll just do that. I really hope he doesn't have South America now, but he hasn't he hasn't signaled it. I would be surprised. Fuck! Why didn't he put one influence into Chile? Ah, uh, okay, well, thanks to Southeast Asia, it's still not looking totally grim. 
Um, do I want to? Do I want to space NATO? But it can save me two VPs. VPs are going to be important. I could also take to take Nigeria and. Africa Don back. That would be nice. Right, that's more points than the Middle East. And also it doesn't re reshuffle. Which is good. Yeah, I kind of disappointed about South America there. I thought I might get away with it. I was pretty sure I didn't have it. Um, but, um, but, yeah. And also the fact that it came in turn six, so it comes back. That could definitely kill the game if it comes back early. I did have d -stall. I could have spread more in South America early on, which I probably should have prioritised that differently. Okay, okay, okay. Missile Envy, let's see what he's holding. He's holding Muslim. I mean, I I, it's not safe uh, by any means, so I probably won't headline it. Don't know what I'll have line socialist governments. I mean, it, it's not it's not half bad. Could could do some could make a difference. Or um, uh, he's also got liberation. And did I oh and a quack? We looking at a self quack perhaps. Uh, I'm curious if we've seen nuclear, uh, sorry, um, colonial rearguards. Yes, we did, yes. All right. Um, and the scorings have been played. Uh, flower power have been, pl have been played. Uh, junta, right, solid junta. Uh, I have omit. Uh, what's been recycled from the early war? Those were triggered. Special got played in turn three, I think. Yes. Truman, turn three as well. In the Pakistani war, did that come back? Yes, it did. It was Japan. I've got that. Comic Con, I don't think. I don't think Comic Con got triggered. Yes, it did. All right. Um, that should be it for most of that. Vietnam revolts. No, I got that a second time. Okay. Yeah. So probably the rest of them are mid-war cards. Which ones am I forgetting? All right. 
Um, probably headlining Junta, I would imagine. And since if I know, no, it doesn't help. So what does he know about? Uh, he knows about everything as far as socialists. No, he knows about socialists too, I think. Which means that I should know more cards, more of his cards. Um, but I think I have to uh, speed up a little bit, so let's not worry about that. Um, 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 um. Right, let's do socialist then. He almost doesn't have a coup target. Now he's giving me Now he's is he gonna be Yeah, he went for realigns. I was hoping for that. Because then I can play this and if he gives me Muslim, that's actually quite good. He's worried about Europe, which he shouldn't be. And also, if he does give me, um, we will bury you if he redrew that. It's uh, actually quite good, because I need those VPs. But, of course, he could still be holding South America, and then I am fairly fucked. Oh, wait, he's in... He's in Libya anyway... And it's actually fairly harmless, but yeah. If he goes into Libya now, then I get the coup. If he coups, I get to take Libya. Although, of course, cooing now would swing Africa, so yeah, maybe I should have gone for the coup instead. He's got enough space where the card, so he might have... Okay. Let me get some millops then. But where is the question? Because right now... Actually, I could try and go for... I could try and go for Africa Control. Actually, I probably will. I probably might want to do. I think I want to do that with US Japan. Ah! Oh. Ah, oh, but that should give me some arms race points. And I think Bear Trap is my space card. Oh, Shuttle, that was known. Yeah, because he's, he's holding enough bad cards that he would have probably evented Muslim. 
Yeah, but it would have been it would have been easy for him to repair it, so Liberation goes to space. Oh yeah, that's why I should have spaced early because now he can space again. Oh, man, it's my like fifth, sixth space roll. Because now he can space again, and he's gonna space flag. Oh chair, chair was known. All right, so he's holding Quag. He failed that, so that's good. I'm gonna grab that. But yeah, plenty of good red cards coming out fair in turn seven, unfortunately. And I'll hold on to Kennedy once again. Hmm, okay, yeah. That's bad. It means he gets to keep it. He has to coup. Um, I don't love this. This could be really, really bad. He gets Asia or the Middle East or something like that. Oh, he's holding a Yende as well. Right, of course. So... That's what he's holding, Quag, Ayende, and something else. <clears throat> OPEC. Could have been worse, though. Could have been much worse. Alright, yeah, he is definitely holding on to South America. Oh, uh, we probably should... Now he has to... S What's he going to do now? Play Yende. Yeah, that's what he's going to do. So, uh, I should break something. And he won't get to coup, so uh, didn't really manage to plan this turn. There we go. So he's holding Quag. And he'd rather give up France than Chile. Okay, a uh, bunch of bad stuff, but also terrorism and brush war. Brush war could be huge here. We are again uh, worried about defectors. Was that in turn six? Yes, it was. So I'm not going to headline anything important, although Pershing would be a nice headline here. Let's try. <sighs> but man, what do I... I was thinking about giving him a duck here, but... Of course he might... It's 
deal it himself. Uh, one of my playable cards? Dude. Alliance is definitely going to hurt. So now Duck is my... Has to be my space card. <clears throat> oh, and I have Truman as well. Why did I bother with Europe? But I can easily wait until he has taken it back himself and then play it. If he saw my hand now, he wouldn't be worried at all, but he doesn't, so he could still be worried. Oh, he's giving it back. He is very worried about Europe. That means I could give him Duck and Space Alliance or Voice. I'm not going to be able to hold any. Yes, I am, because he gave it back. So I'll probably play Kennedy in my last AR. Um, do I want to give him three VPs? That's the problem. If I start a fight over, but I'm I I I feel like I have to because, yeah, it's better to give him three VPs than to give him. And voice isn't great, but I can possibly work around it. It shouldn't be a huge problem. Quite an interesting game, this. Yeah, so he's going to fight over France, and I don't really have the... Can't really keep that up. So let's go terrorism. Actually, let's go... No, let's go terrorism before we place a bunch of other things. What?! Oh... How stupid is that? <sighs> so that's why he didn't want to coup with grains, but still, I think I probably would have done it anyway. Because um, he knows I'm, I'm holding Ask Not as well. Oh, that is disappointing. Defcon win is not going to happen. Hey, I'm off the ground. I am off the ground in like the late 70s. And he's spacing on, and now he will space. What's it called? Quag as well. Please, 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 please work. A little bit too much bad luck now, I feel. That was 50-50, but I missed a bunch of other things as well. And drawing Lone Gunman there is unbelievably unlucky. And no, none of my scoring cards, scoring cards are happening either. Speaking of the devil, five points for me. Um, I think I might actually event this because he has to coup and it's worth a point. So, 
as soon as I just drew Long Gunman, I'm gonna play Kennedy in AR7. Space is that. Uh, I guess I'll coo something. And he sub quacks. Alright, I like that. Goes it back, I get a point. Thought you might. And now, if he discards, he won't have anything to put on the trap. Um, and I think here, well, I could break Chile. That's probably a good idea. Let's hope for a bad quag for him. It's kind of what I need here. Please stay in the quag. He does not, and it's reformer. Oh, I need a scoring and then some and then war games. Latin American is not so bad. If we do an Ops War in Chile, and then I play that. Glasnost. Um, all of this is bad. This is really bad. So I'm currently holding two DEFCON cards. And he sees my headline as well. That is awful. So, um, Glasnost, perhaps, wouldn't be so bad unless it affects it. I get two VPs, I can get rid of one of these. Star Wars goes to space and tear down can happen. It's okay. Um, but I hate that he sees it. If he has defectors, then I am forged. Not fudged, but it's not good. Um, hmm. I feel like I kind of have to try, but there's so many things he can do with class knots. He can like, yeah, he can do all sorts of things. Um, then again, I could just give him tear down in the head in my first action round if he doesn't lower defcon. Do feel like I could use Glasnost here for two VPs. I mean, I would love to space voice as well, so yeah, let's try it. If he doesn't have defectors, then at least I'll get something out of it. And then he can... he could play, like... How I Learned? No, because that happens before. As does the cube and Missile Crisis. Which we might have... no, it's still out there. There's a lot of red cards in the discard pile right now. I am not a fan. So yeah, um, basically there's nothing that can prevent DEFCON from going up, because I will always be... Oh no, of course not. If he has if, if he has uh, How I Learned, then he will be able to lower it. And keep it Missile Crisis, and all the rest of it. Mm, that's what I was worried about. He finally got to defect something. 
But that does mean I get to do this. Uh, yep. Figure that. But, then if he does coup, then I can, I can uh, go to Chile. Which I would actually like. Unless he rolls really well on the coup. In which case I might have to defend his Germany. But if I do break, if I manage to get into South America and get a country, then the board state is <clears throat> is actually looking quite good. What was that? Real lines? Interesting. Okay. So no coup. So do I then, because he can get Africa Dom if, and I can actually get Africa Control if I coup in Zaire. So I think I'll try that. And then he takes Chile back, but then I can go into Chile and put some more influence, and then we, I can play Latin American Debt Crisis, and then maybe he will throw away a card. But that's cool. All right, so he's holding one of those. Probably. I feel like I don't need this. Let's go one more into Chile. Okay. Mm, all right, you've got domination. I can see that. Um, I feel like the Iran-Iraq war isn't really going to do anything either. Oh, wait. Did he overprotect Fark? I didn't realize. Oh, is he holding South America now? Because then I think it's GG. No, he does not. Alright. Let's see if you want to discard something. Maybe I should have waited after he had spaced. I mean, he's probably holding something. I definitely should have waited. Crap! Well, North Sea Oil, so it wasn't red after all. Okay, I'm not getting that. Um, that means I kind of have to do this, which I hate. To defend. Um, yeah, I have to defend so here. Ugh. Now we can take Egypt.
Also, if you Ku's Cameroon back, then I don't really have anything to play, and I have to space. I should. Oh man, I should have played Deck Crisis later uh, and spaced instead. Because now I have to space regardless. I re I really need a good hand in in the in the next turn because this is taking Middle East now as well. Then I won't win in final scoring. And the fact that he threw away North Sea oil shows he doesn't hold anything bad. Can easily hold on to the China card. There we go, another two VPs. Well, I can take this back. Goes for a coup. Alright, sets up a real line. Yeah, I was kind of hoping that. Okay, that's a decent hand. Um, I can brush war, I can junta, terrorism. Ah, yeah. OPEC would be good as well. And we will bury you as a safe headline. I don't really have any good coup targets anyway, apart from perhaps Mexico. So I think I'd go for the three VPs there. Yeah. Since Cal is gone. And we just saw the UN intervention as well. That's what he could with, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Oh, please, can I get a scoring? Middle East, Africa, anything. I mean, it's 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 very much up to the scorings now. If if one of mine come out, then it's I have a shot. If here if South America comes out, it's obviously GG. If Europe comes out, it's getting very, very difficult. Do I want a salt? Yes, I think I do, because I have a couple of horrible cards. There's no point in spacing anything. Um, so I think I will salt. And I think it's going to have to be Brush War. I mean, Junta could possibly help me. But I think Brush War is my only hope. 50-50 uh, shot at... South America, okay. Fair enough, then at least I can um, rebuild Poland. Um, actually, let's, um, let's just pick a card. Um, and then maybe just overprotect, because I have to do that anyway. Although I suppose Poland is not the most important place to overprotect. I 
Oh wait, he can do the real eye now, can't he? Let's see, he certainly can't. Yep. No, 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 what are you doing? <sighs> mm. Is he holding Africa? Yeah, that was a mistake. I should have left Poland alone. Now I don't even have that. So now he's winning in final scoring. For sure. Let's do assault. Uh, am I spacing at all this turn? One, two, three, four, five. No, I'm not. I mean, terrorism potentially... No, it can't do anything. All my OPEC. I'd really... I could use OPEC. But it's not going to be game-changing, I don't think. I think it has to be Brush War. Although, of course... He can... With Arms Race, I still have a shot at Africa... Can, no, I don't. I do not. No, I do not. Yeah, no, it's going to have to be brush wall. He could try and coup Thailand now. I feel like I haven't made too many mistakes in this game, but the ones I have made quite clearly could have changed things. And I made some mistakes that I immediately afterwards realised were mistakes, so that was unnecessary. If I were him now, I would fill up Uruguay and... No, I don't know. He has to coup as well. But I, f I feel like it's going to be very difficult to win this now. Unless he's holding an absolutely disastrous hand. We saw so many red cards coming in turn 7 that I doubt it. There isn't much he could hold that's bad. China, okay. That's a point. And for influence. Yeah, right. Yep, that's not a bad move. I might have done that too. Uh, because, of course, if he is, um, holding South America, that helps. Um, <laughs> in that case, I feel like I have to go for Africa, since I have a shot to uh, taking it back. Or I could coup Colombia. Nice roll. Okay. He might not be able to coup it back. And I'd rather leave Defcon at four so that I get the last coup with Evil Empire. I can get my Africa Dom back. 
Really? Okay. Yes, thank God. Okay, hopefully he won't be able to coup that now. Of course, he'll try and coup Colombia and do the realign. Um, that's five, seven, twelve. This could be horrible. Ooh. Five, seven, twelve, thirteen. Plus two, that's fifteen. And I only have so ten and five. I need I need Africa. And now I'm I've only got two goes left. Two two extra rounds. Um, let's try this, and if the roll is good, okay, it's tolerable. Um, then now he has to coup that, and that means he can't both coup Colombia and realign Venezuela. <sighs> and then I can play South African uh, to get my Dom back. No, to break his Dom, probably. Ooh, this is just down to those last die rolls, I think. Because now he's on 10, 12, 15. I'm on... Uh, 10, 14. No, that's... And I have the China card. That would be a tie, but he can easily... He can easily stop that. <gasps> what? But he can break the Middle East, so he'll he'll be fine. He will win, definitely. <sighs> that was un unnecessary. I <sighs> could have won this game. Now I feel like I'm at a risk of, um, wait, what? Okay. But, wait, that was a huge risk. He just had to break the Middle East. I think, right? Yeah, because we were on three, and if if he had failed, I would have been would have been a tie. So, regardless, um, he should have won that in the end with uh, uh, by breaking the Middle East. Uh, so, I'm not going to be. I'm not going to be disappointed that he succeeded in the space roll. Um, he's been lucky a little bit. Uh, I had some really horrible moments where um, it definitely could have gone the other way. And yeah, it was a fun game though. I was, uh, I was, it was, it was very tense. Uh, but I have to say I'm disappointed that I lost. It was quite close in the end. <laughs> yeah, can imagine. Um, I'm fairly happy uh, with how I played this game. Um, despite some bad rolls and some bad cards. The early war, I didn't really have that many ops. I don't think. Let's have a look if it's just my selective memory. Um, actually, this turn wasn't so bad. It's quite good. Uh, this one wasn't was not horrible. No, it was it was fine. Uh, this was uh, bad. This was bad, and yeah. So it was just those two actually. So yeah, 
bit of selective memory there. Um, but then, and here he had a bunch of scoring cards. I'm sure I could have done played South America differently. That was obviously hugely important. Um, and uh, I did get in there with D-Style, but I, then I didn't really spread out. And I probably should have focused more on that. It's easy to get blinded by the early war uh, regions when you can get a Dom or whatever, but... Um, then also, <laughs> the fact that he headlined that he defected Europe twice <laughs> was absolutely huge. Uh, he could have won already by turn six or whatever um, if he, that hadn't happened. Uh, then again, it was it was in situations where I was quite likely to to play to headline Europe if I had it. Um, so it, he did take a risk there by doing that. Um, but of course, I don't know. It was it was it was obviously very very convenient for me. Um. Anyway, it uh, was a good game despite losing, and I will see you next time. I've got two more games left of the of the season, and of course I'm I'm uh, rather happy that uh, Wojciech also lost his previous game. Uh, now I was hoping to to um get a lead over him here, but now it's still uh, it's still interesting for the last two rounds uh so uh should be good um thanks for watching and i'll see you next time